Dear students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Lalita Ashwar, Professor in the Department of Labor Information Science, Bangalore University, Bangalore, Karnataka. Today I am going to give you a brief account of the module 12, Library Use and User Studies, in which information seeking behavior, what it is, why it is and how it is going to be. Here, the concept of information we have to understand before we start understanding the information seeking behavior. The concept of information is, can be used in number of ways. One is as a concept process if you use, it is the communication between and among the people that itself is a communication. If at all you are going to use it as an entity or an object that object is going to convey some information to anybody and everybody. It may be, let us say, imparting education or it may be, let us say, it is going to communicate something based on the object observed. And as a knowledge, you can use the concept of information. This knowledge is going to be a, a process with which you can understand something and you are going to uh, get reduced of the uncertainties you have of a particular object or a particular issue. Here, information, when it has got a number of uh, connotations, similarly information seeking is also going to have different connotations. Information seeking is an activity, it's an activity of an individual that leads to removal of uncertainty or removal of uh, an ambig ambiguity in the understanding or it may lead to acquisition of information. It may be at the both personal level and also at the systemic level, we try to seek information with which we can clarify our doubt or the whatever uh, the lacunas we have in our knowledge. Everyday people seek information but may not be knowing consciously they are seeking, unaware of what they are seeking. Here, humans by nature, they are prompted by or they may be externally motivated by the environment or the situation to seek information. Maybe to perform a task or to engage in some activity, they seek information. People uh, play a variety of roles in uh, uh, both personal life and also at the official uh, end. Personally, they may be parents, they may be having different roles to play, they may be children or at the official level, they may be decision makers or they may be, let us say, performers of an activity or they may be policy makers, etc. Here, information is uh, uh, the basic need of human individuals like that of other basic needs we have like water, air. Uh, food, shelter, etc. Here, the objective of this module is to understand and also identify the needs of information users and the purpose for which the information is going to be used and the way in which you are going to understand the information seeking behavior of users. Information seeking. Information seeking is a conscious human effort towards understanding a particular issue or a phenomena or an object may be a process in which humans purposefully engage themselves in updating their knowledge. It may be a conscious effort to acquire information in response to a need or in response to a gap in one's knowledge. There are quite a number of terminologies which need to be understood uh, properly. The meaning of these terms we could understand now. One, information. How do we understand the term information? It is an understanding of a concept in general conversation, reading, watching, etc. Today, there is a musical concert in the Janajyoti Auditorium, a general conversation. Salary of the state government employees has been revised. The newspaper, newspaper reading and heavy snowfall in Jammu and Kashmir, television news. When you watch these things, it is information. Information could be in an understanding gained by experience, by study or by communication sent to or received from which changes the knowledge store of an individual. 
information seeking information seeking is a conscious human effort towards understanding a particular issue or a phenomena or an object may be a process in which humans purposefully engage themselves in updating their knowledge it may be a conscious effort to acquire information in response to a need or in response to a gap in one's knowledge information need it is a cognitive perception of an individual and cannot be directly accessible to an observer the experience of the need can be discovered only by deduction from behavior or through the reports of the person in need of information information use can be understood like information use is an observed phenomena from two angles one is from the purpose on which information being created and another from the point of view of how it is being used by the user and for what purpose another term information behavior we are going to use here afterwards this encompasses information seeking as well as totality of other unintentional or passive behaviors that does not involve seeking such as avoiding information etc these are all the terminologies one has to understand before going to information use studies there are different uh, types of information needs identified by different uh, experts various types of needs have been identified through a process of uh, dedication and also deduction morgan and king in 1971 they have uh, proposed uh, three kinds of uh, information needs one is physiological needs like food water shelter etc they are the basic needs of human uh, uh, society the second need they have identified is social motives the social motives are like uh, people will have curiosity to understand they have their own value system they have their own principles they have their own philosophy etc they are going to be the social uh, needs and unearned needs is the third category of uh, motives they have identified unlearned uh, motives are like you one would like to have a status in a particular uh, setup or they want to be aggress aggressive towards certain issues or they want to have affiliations to different institutions societies organizations etc uh, that was the categorization made by uh, margan and king uh, wait waits and uh, other people a group of uh, people who have conducted some research and they have suggested uh, three different kinds of information needs based on the cognitive approach they have studied one is need of new information that is to understand something which is not known to that's one category of information need they have identified the second one was the need of information to elucidate the information being held by the individuals like value systems principles philosophies etc that is the second category the third category of information need identified by weights and others is that need of information this need of information is to confirm what we have already know about it is the confirmation information is the third category of information need they have identified research in the area of information seeking behavior has resulted in identification of different types of information behaviors nicolson has identified and described four types of information seeking behavior one visceral conscious formalized and compromised these are the four types yes uh, identified visceral speaks about the cognitive or behavior which is still in the idea plane which has not been expressed that is untold behavior of the individual conscious stage where individual has recognized the information need 
and formalized where an individual can articulate what he needs, what he wants. The fourth stage, what he has identified as the compromised uh, stage or compromised behavior where the articulated information need has been put in a question in relation to a particular source. Understanding the information behavior of individuals, particularly in the area of electronic uh, environment has resulted in identification of six different characteristics of information behavior. One is horizontal which speaks about the reading, the people who are going to read on the print, navigational, navigational talks about finding ways to reach the source like you are going to navigate on the internet may be different uh, sources on the net and viewers that is observing, squirreling uh, which speaks about unfocused downloading of information from the internet or from different electronic uh, sources of information and chucking is another uh, uh, behavior observed. Chucking information is it talks about uh, evaluating the information from a source which has been consulted and you may even uh, think of uh, diverse information information seekers who will not have any focused object at all do not belong in one of the categories which we have discussed earlier, but they will have diverse fields to observe, diverse fields to access information. The literature on information seeking behavior shows that library user studies and readership studies are the pioneer approaches in general, but the environment has changed after the Royal Society Scientific Information Conference conducted in 1948 and marked the beginning of information behavior studies on modern lines. Many conferences on scientific information in late 1940s and 50s have resulted in emergence of euphoria in, euphoria in librarianship and large amount of money being invested on research and information seeking studies. In late 1960s and early 70s, this kind of a research got integrated and began to be taught in library and information science schools as a course program. In North America, concept of uh, information seeking behavior, in the beginning the uh, terminology used for information seeking behavior was user studies. We can trace the history of this to user studies. Uh, from user studies, the concept was uh, later uh, transcribed as information seeking and gathering. That was the terminology used for the information seeking behavior studies uh, during the uh, 60s by Davis and uh, uh, Bailey. Later, the information uh, needs and uses was the concept uh, used for information seeking behavior in 1966 by uh, Menzel. The same concept has been later transformed into information behavior okay, conceived as a, a current concept of information uh, behavior studies in 1990s. The information need studies has got different orientations. All the orientations are aimed at understanding the information and the information use. One is user orienta uh, orientation in which the demographic, uh, demographic characteristics of the information user would be studied. That would be the angle in which information behavior is understood. The second angle identified is the system use orientation in which the transactional data or the transactions that takes place between the system and the user would be uh, the focus of the study. And the third orientation given is the utility orientation where usefulness of the information sources being used or the information systems used are going to be considered as the focus of the study. Another information behavior model proposed by Wilson in 1981 and he revised it in 1996 model of information seeking behavior in which he concentrates on information user, his need and seeking behavior. and that seeking behavior may get exchanged with ideas with other person or it may enter into an information system, demands on the information system or it may demand on an information source. 
when it is demanded on the information system, they may succeed or they may fail you. When it is demanded on the other information sources, they may succeed or they may fail. But once it is succeeded, they use the information and they are going to get either satisfaction or not satisfaction of using the information source. If they are not successful, they go to another source or the cycle continues. When in the process of understanding the information seeking behavior of individuals, he proposed the model and he extended it thoroughly. In 1991, Kulta has uh, shown how students proceeded with their information search as part of their writing process. She has listed seven stages of information search process in her model, Kulta's model of information seeking behavior. One, initiation, selection, exploration, formulation, collection, presentation, and assessment. In the initial stage, a person's realization of lack of understanding or knowledge and or general feelings of uncertainty, apprehension, etc., which lead to initiation of information seeking. The second, selection, when a problem is identified and initial uncertainty is realized, it gives rise to a sense of readiness to begin the search. In the exploration stage, she says, when people develop doubt, confusion or uncertainty in information, they proceed themselves in the process of exploration which leads to confidence. In the fourth stage, formulation stage, she says, when a focused perspective is formed, which certainly reduces uncertainty, confidence begins to increase. In the fifth stage, collection, when required relevant information to the focused perspective is gathered and uncertainty starts reducing, interest and involvement deepens in the subject. Next step, presentation, when search is completed with an understanding, enabling a person to use the understanding use that learning or ununderstanding for a particular purpose. And the last stage she mentions is the assessment. Assessment that is a sense of accomplishment or awareness created based on the information search. In these three extension of his model shows that at three different levels information is going to be start, uh, sought. Over the decades through extensive research inside and outside the library environment, what was the interest of a relatively few people got progressively expanded and doctoral students flocked to the area of information seeking behavior research in all walks of human endeavor with information. Large amount of research has been carried out in the field of health sciences may be due to heavy funding. How to understand information seeking behavior? That is the basic question. Here, to understand information seeking behavior, we need to have like a appro historical approach where we can understand how the concept of information seeking behavior started. From the beginning of librarianship, librarians are concerned and also committed to serve the users of the library. In 1876, Samuel Green, who has said, mingle freely with library users to help them in every way. The intention was to understand the information seekers. Later, S.R. Ranganathan, in 1957, he pronounced his five laws of library science, emphasizing the significance of user orientation in library services. The factors we are going to identify, like what one needs to know in relation to information need. Information need of individuals may be stable or it may change quite rapidly or information seeking behavior may be associated with different factors. Then how users are going to use information? Different categories of users, they are going to have different approaches to the same information like 
lawyers are advocates they have a legal angle to use information medical practitioners they have medical angle gardeners they have their own gardening angle the same piece of information could be used differently by different individuals and the next seeking stage starts with how user attempt to seek information that is information seeking activity user reasoning process how do they reason it out what is that they are going to use is it the print version they are going to be interested in or e version they are interested in are they going to use at day or night or what are the sources of information they are interested in then comes the question of user interface that is human computer interaction are they interested in textual are they interested in graphical audio visual etc so here understanding information seeking behavior is one aspect where we are going to make use of a number of attempts to understand the way in which the information is going to be accessed and also consumed by user community information seeking behavior in electronic environment research has uh, too much of research has gone into this uh, field and based on the research conducted it has been identified nearly eight different types of internet information technologies they have identified which could change the information seeking behavior of the users like web databases different types of databases are there the way people are going to approach databases electronic journals electronic mails lists house that's a category of uh, uh, system we are going to use it for communication different electronic portals we have or we have different social media ftps etc have been used by both specialists and also commoners in fetching information of their interest the way they are going to make use of these uh, electronic sources of information may differ from category to category of users or maybe from specialist to commoner group of users then the next stage is going to be hypothesizing stage formulate the hypothesis for the problem you have identified and identify the population study population the characteristics of the population etc and then you can think of a sampling out procedure then comes identification of data collection tools data analysis methodology once you identify the tools of data collection you have to plan for a pilot study pilot study is going to give you an understanding of whether the tools the techniques the procedures what we are following is relevant or not whether it is going to work out for the situation is it going to get the desired results etc then identify the problems which may encounter in user research and be ready for taking measures to overcome all the problems in the process of research towards information seeking information seeking which is always influenced by internal and external factors based on the discussion what we have had it may be concluded that people may seek information maybe on everyday basis or occasionally maybe as and when there is a need or requirement information seeking behavior starts with a very simple level of understanding on a very simplistic approach eventually it grew much deeper and complex or less simplistic understanding of human interaction with information and information sources user and use studies are very vital components of 
information science which have very significant bearing on the information system to develop in different directions maybe the collection development or maybe the planning of information services for the user group of different kinds but without understanding the information seeking behavior of different classes of people it is not possible to plan for a better reliable information system or information source.